everybody, welcome back to my channel on YouTube. <laughs> I haven't made a video where I've spoken in a while. Uh, it's usually me just listening to music. So I thought I'd open my mouth and talk. People are like, mmm. But, uh, but seriously though, it's okay because I brought something. Your parents. What were they up to before you were born? What were they doing? Were they chasing their dreams? Did you come along and ruin it? Probably not. Probably not. Because they love you and they're proud of you no matter what. Just spitballing here. Today I'm in a video where I'll be talking about uh, what my mom did way before I was ever around. And relax, it's a movie, but not like that. My mom was an actor and a damn good one. And like every single actor I've ever met, she was also a bartender. I think my mom had to stop acting because she realized that she was a really good person and she was able to be compassionate and loving. I don't know much about actors, out of all the actors I've ever met, they're all insane people who work in restaurants. My mom did uh, stop acting because she wanted to start a family. So, I, so I'm so i just gonna blame my dad Mark and my brother Jake for, for making her settle. <laughs> Heads up, this movie was made in the 1980s. And just off the top of my head, I think the 1980s was just leather and cocaine. And floppy hair. Everyone, everyone's hair was just so dry and floppy. It was so silly. Just, it went every which way. Hair went in infinite directions in the 80s. I'm just gonna give you a brief summary of what happens. We're gonna make fun of it. We're gonna laugh about it. But no one laugh at my mom. So this movie is called The Tower. It was made in 1985. It's a Canadian artificial intelligence horror sci-fi movie. The late night corporate employees have a big comeuppance when this computer decides that the workers in the building would make great additions to her strength as an operating system. So she does what, what any computer security system would do to make that computer dream a computer reality. She starts trying to kill people for their energy. And yes, the computer is a she. Her name is Lola and she's terrifying. She's every bit of terrifying as an 80s computer can be. Loud buttons. Sounds that don't make any sense, probably probably hot to the touch, right? Because it's the 80s, these, these were new. But what she does is she seeks out the heat sources in the building, which are human beings, who are just trying to get some work done before the long weekend, and they gotta try to kill her. Because she's picking them off. And guess what? The employees have started to catch on. But it's the 80s and Lola needs all the shoulder pads she can get. This movie's not gory, or like, it's not violent. There's no carnage whatsoever. So this is Lola. Like, Lola takes these people off the earth and then claims she's not doing anything wrong because she isn't a human and she's not being wasteful, which I just find very unbecoming, even for a computer. Not even one of those movies that's so bad it's good, it's just so boring. There's one redeeming quality about this movie, and that is my mom's performance as Joanna, who is a 23-year-old secretary for the Sandon Corporation, who's just trying to survive and work. And guess what? She's really out here trying to turn off a computer. In her on-screen debut, my mom is a rose in a field of dog shit. So here we go, let's enjoy the tower. My mom! Not my mom. Also not my mom. Not my mom. Hello. Hello, Yes, I'm set. Why wouldn't I be set? I was just on my way to the office. What do you want, Brad? I wanted to make sure you weren't crapping out on me. Every area in that place is video monitored. There's no chance any unauthorized person would not be detected anywhere, anytime. There's no way that people memorized their lines for this movie. It's they knew, day one, they were like, I can just read it. And welcome to the Sandon building, the world's most energy efficient office structure. The establishing shot of Lola. Heat source present at recreation level. Why does this office building have a pool? By the way, I'm gonna break the fourth wall for a minute and just say, I know there's probably gonna be a lot of continuity errors in these videos, cause some of this footage was filmed yesterday and some of this is filmed today and then some of it might be reshot tomorrow because every time I go check the footage back, I'm like, fuck that guy. Energy potential. Activate What? What happened? What did you do? My hand! Get an office pool going. Let's see how long it takes for Lola to start killing us. 
secretary on her break got a shock. Uh, you can check. And a secretary went swimming on her break. I can't tell if that's awesome. I feel like that'd be annoying. Just drying off and being like, I gotta go sit back at a desk now. That would suck. Night, Lola. Have a nice weekend. You can rest assured, Mr. Watson, that I will continue to do my job in maintaining proper energy levels. And in your absence, I have taken an interesting direction towards maximizing the amount of energy from our secondary source. There's a review for this. Uh, that I read online that said the only thing good about this movie was that it ended. Earth calling Ben Tank. What's up with dudes being shaped like toothbrushes and just having the most confidence? I bought a new bathing suit today. It fits really nice. Having problems? Um, Inspector. Office smells like chlorine and shit. People are pissing in there. People are pissing in the pool. Heat source two, reaching your potential. Lola's checking heat sources. I guess you're just gonna be like, I'm, 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 give me that heat. Joanna, working late. Not too long, I hope. And you, top level work. That's my mom. Heat source? BTU potential. Activate heat gain? So my mom found out in the weirdest way that two people were hooking up in the copy room. But also, uh, that's her dirty old boss. And he's cheating. And they're dead. Oh, are, like, are they though? Like, they, they, they she, they... <laughs> they're gone. They're gone. And did you guys know that my roommate's uh, watching a movie at full blast while I'm trying to do this? Just watching like London has fallen or some shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Lola is off and running. <laughs> oh man. Two, maybe three people. They've been killed. Oh fuck! They were both d destroyed by, by some kind of force. I think somebody's been watching too much TV. I am not an idiot. I know what I saw. We haven't any time to waste. My mom, Jackie. <laughs> Was in a stupid little movie called The Tower. 19, 19, 1985. Zach! Zach! <laughs> we didn't know that that's what that guy's name was. And that's how we found out? Zach! The worst way to get introduced in a movie. <laughs> what do you do? I mean, as long as we're traveling companions. I sell soap. So my mom was just trying to be nice to you, Ben. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Looks to me like the security boy over there is in charge. It'd probably be easier if you took your shoes off. I'm not in the grave yet, sweetie. I didn't mean anything. I'm just trying to help. Go help your boyfriend. He's just trying to help you, old bitch. And the computer has locked every other door. <sighs> what happens is that heat from humans working during the day rises to heat sensors. And that heat is drawn by fans to water tanks, which are either hot or cold. And the power is created by a turbine. My mom! Does it run the whole system? Everything. There is something we can do. What? The one thing that stops any machine. Pull the plug. Okay, Dean here. If you're lost, let me just bring you up to speed. Here we go. The two on the phone from the beginning had a plan to rob the company. The guy was making sure she wasn't gonna crap out on him. Their plan went to shit because she died while seducing her boss because Lola had other plans. Fuck. 
the security boy gets an unexpected visit from his girlfriend who just wants to spend some time with him and go swimming. Newly widowed Mrs. Sandon finds out her husband, who runs the company, died while cheating on her with his secretary, and I really hope that she puts that on his tombstone. Ben and Zach are just trying to get some work done so they can go home, but then my mom brings to their attention that there's been an incident. Boy Wonder security guard also confirms that these incidents are happening. Then they all see it happen firsthand. <laughs> get it? And come to the realization that their new computer security system, Lola, is trying to harm them. So Zach, Boy Wonder, Boy Wonder's girl, and an asshole with a gun all end up in a stairwell together. They don't know he has a gun until he's super bored. Old Widow Sandon tries to escape underground through a shopping concourse. That doesn't work, obviously. And this whole time, my mom and Ben are going into the nucleus of this building to try and kill Lola. No one truly sticks together throughout this whole thing except for Zack and Boy Wonder, my mom and Ben, and I guess Boy Wonder's girlfriend and the asshole with the gun, but it's not by choice. So there we go, let's continue. My mom and Ben are gonna go on a long journey to kill a computer. If it's all the same to you, I really don't wanna touch anything electrical right now. Lola is gonna try to now kill an old lady who escaped into an underground shopping concourse, which even in the 80s occupied most of Toronto. Ventilation off. Remove oxygen supply. How are you? No, how would a how would a computer remove oxygen from a room? Also, this camera has been facing one direction. The, the whole time. I think she's gone around some corners. You can't see her. Lola's not messing around. Activate heat gain. Wait, why is this movie called The Tower? It should be called Synthesize Me. Get a guitar. Get a guitar and a real drum set and a piano. Huge moment in this movie. Huh? Yeah! Wanna fucking play? I wonder what Zach's doing. Go to Finley. Go! Oh. Don't do anything. Oh my god. Goodbye, Lucy. The guy who brought a gun, though, you know? Like. And you can't keep us here. We want to leave. Now! I'm sorry. You cannot leave. I need you for energy. Did you find her? She's dead. The music, you know? It's just... He just wants to get out of here. Come on, give me a hand. And now Zack and Boy Wonder are gonna go have it out in the lobby. Man, my mom kept this whole movie afloat. Like, for real. I'm not even saying that because she's my mom. She did. How about trying to hold on to a job after four years of night school? Not to mention a six-year-old child waiting for you at home every night. <laughs> And always knowing that any 19-year-old with a larger bra size and IQ to match can put an end to that holy paycheck. Sounds feminist. I like to think of it as the real world. Absolutely destroyed him. That's my mom. Okay, boys. You want to play games? Get up. Mwah. Just let her go. The door's open. You can leave. Shut up. Put it down, hero. Did the did the gun shoot someone? Weirdest gun being dropped scene I've ever seen in my life. Ah! It's losing power. Around the back of the console, there's a switch. This area is restricted. Try to where's the switch. 
Now where's the switch? Hey, easy! Behind the panel. Lower right side. I do not want to die. I do not know what comes after. So that's it, they just turn off the computer? You must stop this. I have to maintain the operation of the structure. You cannot do this. I have responsibilities. My fucking mom. I think for like five straight decades, people were like, if you make a movie, you can't miss. Can't miss. It's gonna be a hit. No. Might be the same with YouTube videos. This could be a big fucking swing and a miss, but we'll see. Even though so many movies are horrible, they still made a movie. Do you know how hard it is to make a movie? Sure, maybe it didn't look that good on screen. I'm having trouble making this video. Like, they made a movie. How come when a movie sucks, people aren't like, yeah, but they made it. A lot of stuff can go wrong, but the fact that so many bad movies were still made, like, completed, start to finish, nobody gave up, Pretty fucking incredible. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. Uh, my name is Dean, <laughs> and this is my channel, and you could subscribe to it if you'd like to, but if not, that's cool. Hopefully I'm gonna be posting more consistently, and you can expect a lot more stuff like this, because it, it's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get crazy out here, so thank you very much for watching. By the way, I have a podcast called The Clean Hamster Podcast that I release every single Monday. You can listen, I'll put the links down below to everything you need to see more of my content. I appreciate you, and I'll see you later.